If you're interested in uh, genes that affect alcoholism in mice, alcohol use in mice, you can do knockout studies where you go in and remove genes from their genome and see what happens. Well, you can't do any of those things in people. I'm Mia Galtieri, and today we take a look at the nature versus nurture debate. We talk to Dr. Eric Turkheimer, a psychology professor at UVA, who uses twins to explore if we're defined by our environment or our genes. Twins are ideal for studying behavior genetics, and they provide ways to understand our genetic makeup within a controlled, mostly identical environment. So you can give a personality measure that tells you how extroverted you are. And by comparing the similarity of identical twins and fraternal twins, you learn something about the role of genetics in extroversion. Well, it may be easy to believe that genetics control our personality and the way we live, Dr. Turkheimer likes to point out that it's more complicated than that. People who have certain kinds of genes, on average, wind up more extroverted than people who have other kinds of genes. That's true. But on the other hand, there aren't any genes that hardwire you in order to be extroverted. That what, how you turn out always depends on the genes you have in the particular world in which you find yourself. Professor Turkheimer is known for his work on studying the effects of socioeconomic status on IQ. We talked to him a bit about how the environment in which we are raised can develop or narrow intellectual abilities. You can show that among well-off children, people raised in middle class or higher families, uh, genes are, a very, are, are by far the predominant cause of differences in intelligence. But if you include in your study impoverished families, really poor kids, the environment is much more important for them. Genes and environment affect personality, behavior, and other attributes. We are constantly thinking about how humans differ from one another in terms of class, race, or intellect. The study of twins has the ability to provide insight on how we function in society. The idea of nature versus nurture is something that is a question that, has, that underlies most of the complex social questions that, I mean, people have faced forever, but especially in the last 150 years, there are people out there to this day who say some people are poor because they have genes that make them poor. And believing that leads you to all kinds of, to me, in my opinion, regressive, uh, illiberal, kinds of social policy. And so we have to be able to put together a realistic biological view of human beings as organisms like any other DNA-based organism with a desire to change the world and create the world as we want it. And it's a question that hasn't been resolved. Studying the scientific marvels of everyday life, like twins, can help us understand how our brains and bodies work. From the effects of space travel to the relationship between genes and personality, we have a lot to learn from twin studies.